Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 1.6 on our series on decimals, percents, and place value. We're going to be looking at how to round decimals. So the sample problems that we're going to be covering in this tutorial are depicted here on the opening page. We're going to round the given decimals to the underlined place and round to the nearest whole number. Do not forget, we have five practice problems at the end of this presentation for you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this tutorial. To gain access to our entire collection of courses, Arithmetic, Algebra 1, 2, Geometry, Precal, Calculus, just take a look at the links in the description below. Alright, so the instructions for question 1 are for us to round the given decimal to the underlined digit. Let's take a look at question 1a. <clears throat> so for question 1a, let's say we have the decimal 0.43. Okay, and we have to round it to the specified decimal. Let's say this is the decimal place that's specified right there, the 4. So what is 0 0.43 when we round it to that digit? That's the 4 digit in that number. All right, let's take a look at it. So we write down the number 0 0.43. Pay close attention to the steps. We're going to talk about it after we're done with the problem, okay? So first thing is we identify the decimal place that we're rounding to. It has already been specified for us. Is the 4, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a partition. Put the line. Now everything, after we're done rounding, everything to the right of this specified digit, they're all going to become zeros. They're all going to be gone, okay? So that's, that's um, how it's going to work. They're going to become zeros. They don't necessarily have to go away depending on their position in the um, number. So if it's to the left of the decimal point, of course, the zero stays. And if it's to the right, then it goes away. So identify the place value. We have it underlined here. You draw a partition. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at the number to the right of the number of the digit you're rounding to. In this case, the digit to the right of what you're rounding to is 3. Okay? So the rule is 0 to 4, no more. 5 and up, round up. Okay? 0 to 4, no more. 5 and up, round up. What does that mean? If the digit to the right of where you're rounding to is 0 to 4, like this one right here, there's going to be no more. Whatever you have to the left, that's what it's going to be, okay? You're not going to round up. But if it's 5 or greater, then you have to add 1 to the place that you're rounding to, okay? So in this particular case, 3 is from 0 to 4. So if you, if you have 0 to 4, no more. You do not round up, all right? All the digits to the right, you set them to zero. So this three becomes zero because we're not, there's no more and we're not rounding up. Okay? So when we do that, this is going to now become 0 0.40. Zero. All right? And since zero is to the right of the decimal point and it's the last digits, we do not have to write it. Our final answer is simply 0 0.4. Okay, all right. Now let's take a look at uh, the steps that we use for this particular example. We're going to apply to number two. Okay, so let's go over the steps again real quick. So steps are as follows. Number one, you identify the decimal, the place value. Identify. Identify the digit that you're rounding to. Sometimes it could be specified for you. Sometimes you'll be given a place value and you just have to find it. So identify the digit, and then what you do is you look to the digit on the right. Okay, look to the digit to the right. All right. And that will tell you whether it's going to be no more or if you're going to round up. All right, so after you look to the digits on the right, if you have 0 to 4, no more. Everything to the right, they are all going to become zeros. Okay, or five, if you have 5 and up, if it's 5 or more, you're going to round up. 
all right in this particular case it was zero to four because it was three and it was no more we just stopped at 0 0.4 and that was our final answer now let's take a look at another example number two uh, one b let's say we're rounding to 70 we're rounding 17.51 to the place that has the seven what is that going to look like Let's go ahead and uh, follow the steps that we have outlined here. Hopefully it helps us to do it. Okay, so um, we let's write the number. We have 17.51. And we are rounding to the sevens place, okay? All right, so that's the digit. It, we already have it identified for us. So we're going to put up a partition. And then we're going to be looking at the digits to the right of it okay so what do we notice about the digit to the right of the seven is it zero to four or five and up it's a five so it's five and up okay so what's the rule for five and up five and up five and up you round up okay let's just put the word and five and up You round up okay so what does that mean what does rounding up look like well rounding up basically means we're going to add one to the digit that we're rounding to that's what round up means is like we add one more digit no more means you don't add anything round up means you add one it advances by one okay when you round up then you proceed to set every digit to the right of your partition to what zeros everything becomes zeros okay and then what does the number become this now becomes instead of 17 since we're rounding up it becomes 18.00 okay so the zeros to the the last zero digits to the right of the decimal you don't have to write it so it's just going to be 18 as your final answer all right let's move take a look at another example for 1c we have a bigger number let's say we are we have the number 1302.5024 and we're rounding to the zero digit alrighty so let's go ahead and do that so let's rewrite the number we have 1302.5024 five zero two four and we're rounding to the zero digit okay that's the uh that's the hundredths place so since this is a digit we're rounding to following the steps um let's put a partition there take a look at the digits to the right okay the digit to the right Zero, 0 to 4 no more, 5 and up, round up. What do we have here? This one is 0 to 4. This is between 0 and 4, right? So 0 to 4, what's the rule? No more. We're not going to round up. We're simply going to set all the digits to the right of this digit to 0. So set this to 0. Set that to 0. Okay. And then we're going to have 1302.5. 5, 0. Since it was no more, the 0 stays. All right. And those other two digits to the right also becomes zeros. All the last digits, all the zero last digits to the right of the decimal, we do not have to write them. So this just becomes 1,302.5. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the answer to question number 1C. All right, let's move along to the next question. All right, let's take a look at question two. Question two looks a little bit different. Um, you don't have any digits underlined here, but you're told the place value that you are rounding to. So for question two, you're to round to the nearest tenth. So the, ad the additional layer of complexity here requires you to know what your place values are. So you have 23 point five four six you're rounding to the tenth 
where is the tenths place? In this number right here, this digit is the ten, tens place. Sorry, this is the tens. This is the ones place. All right. So from the decimal point, you have the ones, tens. And then over here, this five is the tenths place. So this is the digit that we are rounding to, okay? So let's go ahead and underline, following the steps, we're gonna underline the digit, identify the digit that we're rounding to, we're gonna put up a partition, and then look to the digit to the left, I mean to the right. The digit to the right of that digit right here, so the digit to the right of five is four, and then you follow the rule, okay? Zero to four, no more, five and up, round up. So four is from zero to four, so that means no more. We're gonna set all the digits to the right of five to zero. So set the four to zero, set the six to zero. You're not rounding up because it's zero to four. Okay, so this uh, number now becomes 23 point, the five doesn't change, everything to the right of that five and a tenth place becomes zeros. The last zero digits on the right side of the decimal point do not need to be written, so we're gonna have 23.5 as our final answer. Okay, all right, let's take a look at another example. All right, so for questions three to five, it's worded differently. Uh, two so these ones we are to round to the nearest whole number okay so what does it mean to round to the nearest whole number rounding to the nearest whole number simply means round to the ones place okay so let's just put a side note here note rounding to the nearest whole whole number just basically means you're rounding to the ones place that, that whole number situation there um, means to the ones place so rounding to the nearest whole number means that you're rounding to the um, ones place rounding means to round to the ones place so that's the place that we're going to be identifying for rounding. Okay. All right. Number three. Let's say we have uh, four hundred fifty-two point three five six. What's this number rounded to the nearest whole number? So this number rounded to the nearest whole number just requires us identifying where the ones place is, and then we'll round to that. Place. In this number, the ones place is two, so we're going to be rounding to the two. Put up your partition. Look at the digits to the right. Okay, this one is zero to four. What's the deal with zero to four? Zero to four, no more. All right, so all the digits to the right. Of this place value, the ones place, we're going to set to zero, zero, zero. Okay? So, just a side note, let's just specify here what we're doing. This is the nearest hole. Nearest hole. What's another word for nearest hole? Another word for nearest hole is the ones place. Alrighty? Okay. Now I have that written down. So this number becomes 452.00 because it was no more. All the digits to the right will become zeros and that place value will not be rounded up. Okay. All the decimal points, the last digit decimals on the right of the decimal point. You do not have to write those if it's at the end. Okay. Uh, so you just have 452. Now let's move on to 
Another example, question number four. Let's say we have the number 3.7. We want to round this to the nearest whole number. So how do we do that? So for 3.7, all we just have to do is identify the digit in the ones place. This one right here, that's the nearest whole, that's the ones, okay? So nearest whole, that's where we're rounding to. Take, let's put up our partition, take a look at the digit to the right. This is five and up. What's the deal with five and up? Five and up, round up, okay? Five and up, round up, what does that mean? It means that we're going to be adding one digit to that three that we're rounding to, okay? Anytime the digit to the right of the digit that you're rounding to is five or greater, you round up. You round that digit up by one. So this becomes three, no, I'm sorry, three plus one is four. Four point zero. Okay, and zero is to the right of the decimal as the last digit, so you can drop, drop that off. And your final answer is simply going to be four. Okay, one more example, then we're going to give you some practice problems to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of what we've been talking about for the last 16 minutes. Question four. Let's say you have 35.2. You're rounding to the nearest hole, okay? All right, so we're just going to follow the steps for rounding, and that should give us the correct answer. So we have 35.2. Where is the nearest hole? What place value is the nearest hole? It's the ones place, right? So this is the nearest hole. Now that we've identified the place value we're rounding to, what do we do? Put up our partition and take a look at the number to the right. What's the deal here? This is zero to four. So if the digit to the right is zero to four, what's, how do you proceed? Zero to four, no more. Five and up, round up, okay? So zero to four, no more means we're not going to be rounding up here. Every digit to the right of that place value we're rounding to, we're gonna set to zero, okay? And then this number now becomes 35.0, okay? So the last digit on the right side of the decimal, if the last digit on the right side of the decimal is a zero, you do not have to write it, okay? So our answer is simply 35. And then that's a 35 rounded to, I mean, 35.2 rounded to the nearest whole number. All right, it's now your turn to do some practice problems. Okay, so here are the five practice problems that we would like you to work on. Go ahead and pause this video presentation at this time and try out the five problems. Once you're done, click on the playback button and we're going to show you what the correct answers are. Alrighty, welcome back. So here are the answers to question one to five. Go ahead and take a look at your work and check your answers. Okay, so we'll like to know how you did uh, in the practice problems. Did you get them all correct? Let us know how well you did in the comment section below. If you have any questions about any of these examples that we just did, these practice problems or the actual um, tutorial, just specify it in the comment section or ask your teacher. Uh, Mrs. E, she'll help you out um, so you can get the help that you need. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of decimals, place values, and fractions, do give us a like or thumbs up and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other presentations such as this. Tons of support resources can be found at our website, mathgotserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.